So folks, welcome to TV of the Lost. This is something very, very special to me because today in an eye to eye interview we have John Five. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, first question. You got a new single out called Hell Hall. Yes. And I had to research a bit because I'm German. I'm not used to all those American TV shows, but I found out that it's he has been like an old TV show in America. Right. Um, is it some kind of tribute to that show or does it mean something personal to well, you? Well, that's the, uh, the, that's the first uh, time that when I saw that show, I was so little and I saw someone playing guitar and I was like, oh my God, that's why, that's what made me want to play guitar, was that TV show. And uh, I was so like, wow, I was so blown away by that uh, person playing guitar. That's what uh, made me want to play guitar for the first time was that TV show. And they all played Telecasters, and that's what made me want to play a Telecaster, too. Right. And that was, I was very hesitant of doing a video like this because I know, you know, nobody would know what Hee Haw was over here, you all know, right. but... Yeah, yeah now, now I know. That's, that's, yeah. yeah, I'm German, I don't know about it, now right, I know right, what it right. is. Yeah, it's just, how, how old were you when you saw it? Um, I was probably six or seven years old. Cool. Yeah. So there's, there's an album following the single? Yes, there is, uh, there's an album. And uh, there is, let's see, what else is there? There's, uh, you know, I'm going to make more videos and all that stuff. So a lot of stuff coming up. Is there something unexpected, something new, something surprising on the next album, something you want to talk um, about in just, advance? Just really, you know, what I've been doing is just I've been doing videos for all these singles, and uh, which is great because nowadays everything is so visual. Everything is just like, oh, you know, I want to see this or I want to see that. So you go on YouTube. So I thought, why not just do videos for all these uh, songs? And we're playing live and we play these songs that you know, uh, just the videos are out and people know them, so it's, uh, it's been a really great thing. Cause so you're doing like, like videos for each song on the album? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive, That's but people right. love it, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way to uh, get the song out there, because nobody really listens to music that way except for on their computer or their phone. Now. Yeah, I yeah, know. That's a new generation. Yeah. yeah. Um, as a songwriter myself, I'm always interested in the songwriting process of another artist. Mm -hmm. So when, when you're writing songs, do you sit down mm -hmm. like, today I'm going to write a song for John Five solo, today I'm going to write a song for Rob Zombie or for whoever, or you're just sitting there playing around and the ideas come up. What's your process in songwriting? I play guitar so much. If I wasn't talking to you right now, I'd be playing guitar <laughs> and uh, I have like a, this huge catalog of songs and things like that so I'll just go through them and you know check it out and say oh this is good or this is good so uh, that's what I usually do. I was writing film scores for Rob Zombie, was it like a total different approach to it or was it It's com like? completely different, it's uh, very difficult because it's like orchestras you know and there's so many pieces of music there's like you know, sometimes over 50 pieces of music you, know, you need, and so um, it's very difficult. Sometimes there's not a time signature or a key signature. It's just creating a mood, and so it's very, very difficult to do. Did you have, like, moving pictures to write on, or did you have, like, just, just like, scribbles or whatever? No, or I, I got a lot of notes from Rob, so that was the, the great thing. He would give me these cue sheets and say, I need this and I need that and I need it to be this long and create this kind of tension. So uh, luckily I got a lot of um, a lot of help from Rob. How long did it take all, all together for a whole movie? You know, oh, you yeah, I don't know. a long time, quite a long time. Yeah. From the beginning he started I actually, I think I started working on some music before, uh, before he even shot film, started filming. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long time, yeah. Do you remember the first proper song you've ever written? Not just some riffs, like, like a real song. Don't. I don't even remember. I have no idea. I have no idea. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Um, what I really adore about your music is that it's so versatile. On one hand, you have all those friendly and nice things and all the countryish yeah. uh, stuff, and then you have all those weird and chromatic scales uh, mixed with harsh sounds and effects and stuff. Is that part of a concept, or maybe you just like it, or maybe is it even like a mirror of the inside of? John Five of your character. Well, I really enjoy a 
variety of music. I just love all different kinds of music. And I don't even think of it that way. I just think of it as music. So I really enjoy great guitar playing in uh, it could be any style of music. So, um, and I thought if I'm going to do an instrumental thing, I want to do something different from everybody else. I want to do, do it. And I, just to make it more entertaining instead of the same thing over and over. If you come see a show and it's the same thing over and over, people are going to get tired. But, you know, if you see a show and there's all these different kinds of music performed and done well, I think that'll be um, a lot more entertaining for the listener and for myself, too. And people really enjoy it. So it's been going really well so far. Yeah, it's funny that you say that because this is why I like your music because I'm not actually in this kind of shredding solo right. instrumental stuff, mm -hmm. all this proc stuff I don't really listen to that but with your music it's different maybe because it's it has a different approach it is. You, d you never know what you're gonna get and that's that's no. very important it's, it's uh, it was always important to because not everybody's a guitar player you know not everybody's a musician and they just will listen to something and go oh that's different and fun and you know if I went to a, a show and I saw like some uh, you know some musician and he did all these different things I would be so entertained by that so I just thought why not do what I like if I'm well informed then it's your first time in Europe with your solo thing exactly um, do you have some I don't know maybe funny memories from being in Germany or even Hamburg with other projects is there anything you're connected to when you think about Germany or touring um, in Germany? Well, I always, you know, Manson, you know, so big in Germany. So we were in Germany quite a bit. So we've been to, we've been to you know, Hamburg and, uh, you know, Frankfurt and Cologne, every, everywhere, so many times. So it's, uh, you know, it's great. I kind of know my way around a little bit in certain places. I've been here so many times. You played up there with Manson a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, just over here. I this, didn't this, even know this that. This is top store. Uh, top four for me. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. I didn't even know. Yeah, That's yeah. great. Um, any new Telecaster madness? Because I know I saw all your rig downs. And uh, is there yeah. any new weird stuff? Yeah, I just got a uh, stained glass Telecaster. Um, I have it. It's going to be actually. Um, we're, I'm doing some zombie shows in in Europe, and so it's going to be there. So yeah, it's a stained glass Telecaster, and it's. Completely one of a kind, you know. It's really cool. I know that um, many fans always wonder, like, and even we when we're on tour and we're listening on the tour bus, listening to your music and stuff, we always asking ourselves, did you ever consider singing, or is it just something you don't like or I don't, don't do? I think I love great singers. I love great singers. I've played with some of the greatest singers in the world, you know, you know, Steve Perry and David Lee Roth and Halford, Halford of course, and you know, there's so many people, Paul Stanley and just all these singers, but I just I just don't have a good tone in my voice. You know, so it's all about that tone. So I just don't have that tone. Because we're all like curious, like how, how would it sound like if John Fire would be singing? It but. would sound horrible. <laughs> it would sound horrible. Rob makes me sing backups and I, you know, I can sing on key. I can sing, I always sing on key, but it, the tone of my voice is horrible. All right. Yeah. One last question, your Marshall amp. Yeah. Does it go to 11? It does. <laughs> so yeah, I love my Marshalls. Every time I come to Europe, they always bring me a different colored head, yeah. which is really interesting. So I have a red, a white, a blue, a yellow, a purple, a green, a pink. And uh, so every time I come to Europe, they give me a different color. And they color. all go to 11. Yeah, they all go to 11. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank sir. you, buddy. Thank you.